Hello everyone and welcome to my February TBR aka all the books I want to read in February. So this month I'm setting a goal of reading 10 books from my physical TBR. I think I can do it. I really hope so. I do have a pretty long trip I'm going on in the middle of this month to Florida. I'm gonna have to get a lot of reading done the beginning of the month and the end of the month I feel like in order to accomplish this goal but I think it can be done and I just wanted to share with you today the books I'm thinking of reading this month. The first book on my physical TBR that I'm pretty positive I'll be able to get through is Painted Devils by Margaret Owen. I only have this much left. I've been trying to read this book for the past couple months. I just haven't really gotten into it. I loved Little Thieves so much and I do want to continue the series and figure out what happens but I don't know what it is about this book it's been really hard for me to get into but I do want to finish it I just have a little bit left so this is a book that I am definitely going to finish this month the next book is a book club book for my book club with my friends and my friend picked for February remarkably bright creatures by Shelby Van Pelt I really don't know a lot about this book I know that I think either the narrator is an octopus or there is just a talking oc talking octopus in it. I can't really remember, but my mom read this book. She loved it. It's gotten a bunch of awards. I know that. And yeah, I just want to see what the hype is about. I don't know if you saw my last video, but the January pick for the month that I picked for my book club with my friends. So each month, there's three of us. We all pick a book and we rotate each month. So I picked Manacled, the Draco and Hermione fan fiction, and just the change in picks is just so funny to me. Like my friend picked this book. This is definitely shorter than Manacled, which Manacled was like 1100 pages. So I am really excited to read this. I'm just waiting till I get my audiobook hold on this because my mom who read it said that the audiobook is amazing and that's how it needs to be read. So I'm just waiting on that and then I'm really excited to read it. In the February spirit, I put a bunch of romance books on my TBR. I have not been really in like a romance mood, except I'm now fully in one. Like last month, it was really like thrillers for me, and now it's romance, which I don't know really what that says about me, but it's fine with me. I am super excited about the romance books that I picked from my physical TBR. The first romance book I have on my physical TBR is a newer YA release and that is Dungeons and Drama by Christy Boyce. Look how cute this cover is. Like I'm actually obsessed with this. I kind of forget what the premise is but I believe it's like he's like really into Dungeons and Dragons and stuff and I think they work together and for some reason they have to collaborate. She's like very into like drama and like theater. She's a theater kid. He's like nerdy game boy. I don't know. It just sounds really cute. It's very short and I and I love YA romances so much. So I just definitely had to pick this up. I went to my first board game bar like a couple days ago with my friend and I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to read that and then go and find the love of my life, you know? No, not that. Okay. I'm really excited about this book and for the romantic vibes it will give me. Okay, the next two books are kind of part of a series, but like in romance books, a series, it's not necessarily a series, but anyways, it's the A League of Extraordinary Women. Um, the first one is Bringing Down the Duke, and these are by Evie, Evie Dunman. I've had this book on my physical TBR for years now. I remember I listened to the audiobook version a couple years ago, but... I think my brain like actually did not process this book at all with the audio. I don't know what's going on. I don't remember what happens in this book at all. So this is technically a reread, but not like I could not tell you a single thing about this book. These books takes place in like the late 1800s in England. And it's all kind of like about these women who are trying to like branch out and, you know, <laughs> essentially gain rights and become like equal to men crazy but it's also like has a romantic element and that sounds so fun like I am so excited for Bridgerton to come out in 
May and June, I think because they're doing a two-part thing, but I cannot wait. So I've been really wanting to read some more historical romances. So I have Bringing Down the Duke and I just picked this one up actually. It's The Gentleman's Gambit. Yeah, I don't really know the premise of these, but I don't really like knowing the premises of premises premises of romance books before I get into them. I just kind of like knowing the general whatever, but I'm very excited for these and I hope they fulfill the need that I have for Bridgerton vibes. Next book is a nonfiction and one of my goals for this year is to read one nonfiction a month and my pick for this month is In Defense of Witches by Mona Cholette. Colette. So I don't know a lot about this book. I was recommended it by one of my sister's friends who works at a bookstore. What I do know about this book is that it kind of shares the history of like the all the different witch trials that have gone on all throughout the years and how kind of like women are still pretty much in like a witch hunt again today, I believe. I haven't read a book like this. I was always really obsessed with like learning about the witch trials and everything like that like reading the crucible in school i thought this would just be a really nice perspective i'm just very interested in how the author is going to connect those two themes i don't know much about this but i'm very excited to read it i've already kind of started it a little bit but like as in a little bit i mean like like that much so i've got a little bit more to go the next book is pride by ibby zaboy and this is a pride and prejudice retelling that takes place in brooklyn i believe yeah, Brooklyn, New York. I really don't know a lot about this. My sister read it. It's a YA romance. It was in the used section at my bookstore. So it was like three bucks. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good, actually. I love Pride and Prejudice. I love Pride and Prejudice retellings. So I thought this would be a great one to pick up. It's pretty, pretty short as well. So, oh my gosh. And the font is so spaced out. So I'm excited to read this one too. The next book is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I have only read The House in the Cerulean Sea by this author, so I'm very excited to read this book. I don't know a lot about it. This was also a book recommended to me by one of my sister's friends that works at the bookstore, the same bookstore. She's described it as like ghosts, coziness, and like in a tea shop, tea store or something, I forget. Yeah, I think, oh yeah. So what I gathered from reading the synopsis is that the main character realizes one day that he's dead and he's beginning to have to cross over but he's not ready to yet so he has a week left to live and so he tries to like jam-pack that week full of living a lifetime in a week i can tell this is going to make me absolutely sob that sounds so cute and sad which that was like what the last book was so i'm very excited when i want like a cozy fantasy type thing. This next book I am kind of nervous to read just because I've heard such a mix of good and bad things about this book and that is Romantic Comedy by Curtis Sittenfeld. I just need to figure out if this book is for me or not. I don't know and it's not super long either and I got the audiobook so I might do like a audiobook listen like and physically read it as well the cover is so gorgeous like I love the cover so much so if I do like it a lot that'd be great to be able to display it yeah it is a Reese's book club so I mean Daisy Jones and Six was a Reese's book club I can't remember what else was a Reese's book club but I love that book so I do trust her a little bit I believe that one of the characters in this is supposed to be kind of like Pete Davidson and how he was on the show and then started dating a celebrity I kind of don't know but I'm intrigued to find out hope I get to this but this is probably on the lower priority for me this month and the last book I have for this month is Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne my sister loves this book so much and she's been trying to get me to read it for so long now that I've had her copy of this one and then Love at First on my bookshelves for maybe three months so she's wanting them back obviously because she loves them so I need to see if I like them and read them this month. I really know nothing about this book but I do trust my sister's opinion on books because we have very similar tastes for the most part but yeah I'm excited for that. All right those were the 10 books that I want to read for the month of February. Hope that I can get to all of them. I'm in a very big reading mood. I don't know I hope that I have some five stars this month obviously and I feel really good about a lot of these picks. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.